I was doing what the fuck I wanted to do, period. I am getting ready for work. I'm actually running late. Um, so hopefully I don't get fired. But I'm trying to get into a routine. So that I will start doing get ready with me. I've gained probably 15 pounds last year. So I'm going to start going back to the gym. Don't judge my closet. I'm not done getting that together. I just moved. Um, but I'm going to start going back to the gym today. So I just wanted to do like a little vlog or whatever. I actually wouldn't have been late to work if I didn't impulsively, impulsively, there you go, impulsively try and straighten my wig. <laughs> but you know, like sometimes like you just wake up and you need to do something with your hair and I was like, I have to straighten it. And it's not even like flat, flat. It's not even like straight, straight because I didn't have the time to get it straight, straight. So I'm like irritated. Got my waist trainer on, barely. Okay, we're gonna try start training his waist four hours a day. The first place I can wait is my face. Like, my face is so chunky. So I'm going to do the things that I need to do to stop having a fucking chunky face. It's like the whole face, like neck area, like, mm -mm. this needs to be, you know? I definitely am partaking in the new CBD, lose five pounds in five days hike. Uh, that tea don't have no CBD in it, but I have some shake. I think I'm just gonna do some CBD myself, honestly. If that's what they say, I'm making I'm clearing you out, making you lose the weight, then I'm just gonna make my own CBD with the real stuff. Period. I just feel like I've been like a real lazy bitch. Like, I know for a fact that I've been like super lazy. I've allowed myself to gain weight, I haven't been doing the things that I really need to do so it is my goal now that my birthday is over um it's just my goal for the year to focus on me and do the things that I really want to do um as far as like starting another business and getting in a routine and losing weight like I just have so many goals that I want to do and like that I've set for myself so now it's go time and I have to do the work because I've just been lazy. Like I I can sit here and have like 101 excuses why I haven't been doing this and why I haven't been doing that. But when it really comes down to it, I've just been lazy. Didn't want to do shit. That's basically like the tea on that. I'm getting my butt. I like that. You guys see my eyebrows trying to go back though. After that terrible eyebrow lamination <laughs> experience that I had. You guys go watch that video if you haven't already. Because look. You know. Um, I'm excited though. I'm excited for my future. Like I feel like God has really been working in my life. Um, this year already he's really showed out for me. And not only for me but for the people around me for my friends my family like have been receiving all these blessings and i'm like happy i'm grateful i want everybody to win i'm not a hater um i'm gonna try and make my boyfriend go to the gym with me today but i'm pretty sure he's not feeling that so i'm gonna probably end up going by myself because i'm gonna go after work but i am going to try and get at least 8,000 steps at work during my eight hour shift because I know you need 10,000 a day. That's what they say you need to be healthy and um, or to keep your heart going, whatever. But um, I definitely need to get my steps in. So I'm going to make it a point because I sit at work. And like before I started working where I was working, I was in a lot better shape. 
but now where I work, I literally sit all day and it's just not cracking. Like, it's just not working for me, okay? So I'm going to make it a point to get up and just walk around work and get my steps in. I don't care. And it was recommended to me on YouTube. This lady was on Dr. Phil and she walked around her living room for, and she did like 100,000 steps a day. And then she would like eat cake and like she wouldn't feel bad about it because she walks 100,000 steps in her living room. And I was like, wow, if she can walk 100,000 steps a day, why the hell I can't walk 10,000? Literally, like, why not? So, you know, it's people out here doing a lot and I'm not doing much. I want to do more with myself, so... Y'all, this oil over here on the side of my face, my neck, um, I put this oil on every morning. I shop at a Botanica, and um, I use a magnetesium, magnetesium oil is to attract the things you want to attract, specifically money, um, all good things to prosper, it's prosperity. And then I put on a peace oil because I am at peace. I am protected. I know for a fact I am protected by my guardian angels, by God, by the blood of Jesus Christ. I know I'm protected at all times. So those are two oils that I put on every morning. Uh, literally, I put them on probably like before I go out. If I'm going out somewhere, I'm putting those oils on because I always want to attract things to me. I want to attract more opportunities. I want to attract more money. I want to be at peace always. I'm not going to let nobody get me out of my character. And trust me, bitches be trying me. Um, and I always want to be protected. It's a blessing to get from wherever you're going to back home every day. Um, and I know I'm protected at all times. So... Those are two of the oils that I put on every day. I also have another oil that I don't put on every day, but I should start putting on every day, but I just haven't been putting it on. Uh, but if you guys are interested in learning about like the different um, like spiritual stuff that I have, because I have like a lot of sacred spiritual like candles, sprays oils if you guys are interested in that then i'll make a video on that comment down below if that's something that you guys are interested in uh if you want me to go in like more detail about it because i really believe in that i believe in jesus christ i believe in god but <laughs> i also believe in spirits i believe in guardian angels i for sure have guardian angels who are watching me and protecting me I know for a fact. I brought my laptop with me to work today because um, I'm probably going to edit a video. But I don't know, the Wi-Fi at my work sucks. So I can edit a video at work, but I can never post it. Like, it literally won't post when I'm at work. I have to post it once I get home, which is fine. Like, I don't mind that at all. Shit, I should turn it here. Oops. Don't vlog and drive, guys. It's not safe. Um, and then also, I have this book, this notebook, which is like, it's what I journal in. I journal. It's really important to journal. I'm not a consistent journaler. Journaler. Is that the word? Is that, is that the word? I'm not consistent when I journal. Um, it's crazy because sometimes I'm consistent as fuck. And then there's other times like I really won't journal for probably months. But whenever I'm in my feelings, I write it down. It's important to get your feelings out, you guys. Whether you like to talk about it or you like you need to write it down. I'm not really a talker. I don't like to talk about the stuff I'm going through. I'm the person who goes through shit alone. Like I feel better if I go through some shit on my own. That's just always been me. And um, I'd rather journal and just write it down and just leave it, you know, leave it, leave it on paper, leave it in the book and, you know, get through it on my own. Um, it's crazy because, like, my friends will always, like, say, like, I'll be going through shit and my friends won't even know. 
I'll tell them like months or like a year later and they'll be like oh my god I didn't even know you were going through that or I didn't know that happened I'll be like I know you know I just don't be like into burden people with my shit and I just gotta get through my shit on my own <sighs> but then on the other hand I'm dramatic as fuck so I always tell them like the little stuff that's going on in my life because it's important to talk to your friends as well but anyways i journal in there i write down all my dreams my goals i budget um when you're an adult you should budget if you guys want a video on budgeting because i'm like a pro at budgeting now because i've literally have been i've had a lot of money before like a fucking lot of money and i've been fucking broke so i and when I say broke, I mean, like, broke as fuck. Like, you know, don't know how I'm going to pay my bills broke. Um, just trying to make it happen broke. Um, so I've really mastered the art of budgeting. And it's really important. Like, if you're an adult or if you pay any type of bills or if you're trying to save, you need to learn how to budget and like i had to learn how to budget it's not easy like it's something that should actually probably be like taught in schools because like they just throw you to the wolves to like know this type of shit and like that's how you know when you're in college you be fucking up making bad decisions and stuff so yeah i budget in there every month i know some people have like a really nice like um, budget planning book. I don't need that. I just need a pen, paper. That's it. I'm mad because some girl that I'm not even friends with let her baby rip off the front of my journal. But look, I've been journaling since 2017. I think a little before that, actually. But look, so many pages have gotten ripped out. That shit makes me so mad. But, um, this was when I was still in school. Stay focused in school. A's, B's, and C's. Get it together, girl. Get your routine back. And this still, still applies today in 2020. Get it together and get your routine back. The only difference is I'm no longer in school. And then lastly, I brought this cute planner that my boyfriend bought me. Um, it's like a cute planner, you guys. Like, it has a ruler in there, and then my favorite things are these little, like, stickers. My boyfriend didn't think I was going to, uh, use it. I was like, I want a planner. I thought it was sweet that he got it for me, but he's like, I don't even think I'm going to use it, but he's, like, actually really impressed because I always use it. Um, so he's happy about that. I know it's already like a couple days into February, but like I said, January was my birthday month, so I was wilding out. I was doing what the fuck I wanted to do, period. So yeah, I have a lot to do today while I'm at work. You probably like, how the hell are you, you gonna do all that at work? I'll be by myself for like the first five hours of the shift, so girl, I'll be I be making money while I'm making money. Always. I should have brought my stuff to update my Depop. Oh, while we at it, uh, you guys go shop my Depop. I said Chanel. 